are not very well insulated, they are drafty, and they are often fitted with inefficient heaters. So when your caller says um, the windows are heavier and they seal very well, if you've got you know curtains moving a little bit around the windows, or you can see gaps around the windows, or you see gaps underneath the doors, that means your home is very drafty, and any heating that you do inside, the warmth just flows out very quickly. Mm. Those heavy windows that we are used to in Europe, they are double glazed or even triple glazed now. And double glazing uh, became a normal in the 70s. So Europe had an oil crisis. The people couldn't heat, they couldn't even drive their cars. And that's when insulation of windows became important as well. And it was quite a status symbol in, in Germany, for example, in the 70s. Do you have thermal pay windows? I've got thermal pay. <laughs> so the double glazing, it's that trapped air between those two panes, which are insulating. And they are very well sealed around the edges as well. So you don't get the draft. I don't think it. many of our houses have that. And so what would the risk be? Um, to our health in not having well insulated houses. What is the problem with just rugging up and just wearing an extra layer of clothing, Nicola? So keeping the body warm is definitely important, but the cold air in itself can lead to respiratory conditions. It can lead to cardiovascular problems, but also to mental problems. So if people are not comfortable with rugging up, and they don't invite friends over, for example, for dinner, then that is an effect on social health. If children can't do their homework in their, in their bedroom because uh, you know it's cold, they have got to go into the kitchen where it's loud, that then affects productivity. But also if you're living in a cold home where the air is cold, that means cold air can't uh, absorb the moisture that comes from showering and cooking and breathing. So the moisture precipitates on the coldest surface, which is on the windows, so if you see condensation there, or on external walls, for example, you know, if you've got cupboards, you find mold there, or in, and mold in itself is a problem for health because the spores are unhealthy, but it can also, you know, affect the timber structure behind it if you, if you don't get rid of it. We're so speaking with got... Dr. Nicola Whelan, School of Property, Construction and Project Management at RMIT. Why are our Aussie homes so cold? Let's look at some sol uh, solutions now, Nicola. Um, what should we do when it comes to our homes then if we can't go back and make our windows double glazed? What can we do instead? First thing you can do is draft proof the home. We talked about those gaps. Well, just close them. There is uh, ceiling tape that you can get at any hardware store. Uh, if you've got a snake in front of your door, you already know there's a draft, but there are fixed draft stoppers, you know, then there are not such a um, tripping hazard. So those things are very cost effective uh, and anyone can really do it themselves. Then because warmth rises up, you want to put a lid on it. Most of the heat actually dissipates through the ceiling, so if you don't have ceiling insulation, you can have someone install ceiling insulation. And uh, curtains, heavy curtains in front of the windows overnight, so when the sun is down, that will also help um, create a little bit of a pocket between the curtain and the window. So put a, helm, uh, a helmet on top as well, so it doesn't go up. And that traps the air and insulates. Just open it during the day, so the sun can actually come in. So the free sunshine Streaming into mm -hmm. your home through the windows will warm the home for free. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Nicola. It's my pleasure. Dr. Nicola Whelan there from RMIT. Your tip is to help save energy, you can get a heat and throw rug. Uh, this texter says, cost me 59 bucks and you could pay it off in a week, not using the house heater. It's 11.51. Up next, uh, we are talking about keeping your bees happy this winter. Nick Gautier is from She's a Keeper Apiary and we will take your calls on 1300 222.